You found Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue, and today I've got a good stock Angus tomahawk ribeye, and I plan on doing a reverse sear on my Yoder YS1500 from start to finish, and I'm expecting perfection. <laughs> so I've got a very nice ribeye. First thing I'm gonna do is just wipe this off a little bit. We wanna get as much moisture off of it as we can. And I'm gonna season it up, put it in the refrigerator, keep it overnight, and I will grill it tomorrow. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on it, just kind of use as a binder. And this just happens to be butter infused oil, which may make it a little better. Okay, and the rub that I'm using today, I've got Cosmo Cow Cover and Cosmo Dirty Bird Hot. And I'm gonna start with the cow cover. So we will be generous with the rub that we put on here. And we're gonna press it in and we want to get our edges. Now I'm gonna come back with the Dirty Bird Hot. The Dirty Bird Hot is really not that hot. I don't get too concerned about having it too much heat. Now we're gonna do the back side. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and we'll see you tomorrow. We've got our good stock Angus Tomahawk ribeye that we've had in the refrigerator all night. So I'm gonna put it in the yoder, cook it at 225. I'm gonna bring the temperature up to 112 degrees. And then I'm gonna convert the yoder over to use the yoder griddle. I will pan fry this on the griddle. So I've got my pit up to temperature and I'm ready to put the steak on. We've got it probed, got a timer going, and with that, we just gotta wait. We're midway through the smoking part. Been in there 45 minutes, I'm at 78 degrees, and so we're gonna just open it up, and, uh, flip it, and rotate it. We're at 112 degrees. I'm gonna take it off the pit, and then I gotta convert this pit over to accept the uh, griddle and I'll get that up to temperature and then we'll finish searing this steak and we'll be done. And yes, it looks great. My pit temperature showing 415 degrees. I checked the griddle temperature with the uh, heat gun and it's way over 600 degrees. So that's what I'm interested in because we've got some direct heat underneath that griddle. I'm gonna use some butter that I've melted. It's called Banner Butter. It's out of Atlanta, Georgia. I know one of the main ingredients is Meat Church Honey Hog Barbecue Rub. This is good stuff. And I've also got some crushed garlic that I'm gonna use. We're gonna get right to it and get this steak seared. Got my timer going for one minute. Okay, one minute is up. I'll silence that one. Now I'm gonna rotate, and I'm gonna add some butter. Okay, the temperature had dropped to 115. It's climbed back up to 116. I'm taking them off. As you see, we've given it a rest. The final temperature, I was shooting for 136 because I like the upper range of medium rare or the lower range of medium, but it went all the way up to 139. That's basically a medium steak. looks beautiful to me. Let's cut a slice. That's a great tasting steak. The uh, Cosmo Rub, uh, used cow cover and Dirty Bird Hot. I know he's won the World Champions Steak Cooking Competition using those rubs. And if you haven't ever had a Tomahawk ribeye, I highly recommend you give yourself a treat. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Ha, 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 ha.